What's going on everyone? We're on the busy Avenida Estrella Satellite and we're going to get right to it. We're going to show you guys where to shop for a car in the Dominican Republic and if you should buy a car out here. So we're going to get down to the details. Chapa Bar is here today to get down in the trenches. Information just for you guys. So let's head in. Estamos en Speed Auto y Por. Eh, hagamos, eh, tenemos varias variedades de vehículos de alta gama para personas con poco dinero, mucho dinero, como sea. Eh, si este es dominicano, aquí tenemos las mejores tasas, la verdad, eh, a nivel de, de conjetura. Eh, eh, a los extranjeros la pongamos fácil, solamente en carta de trabajo, le exigimos su. su su pasaporte, eh, nada, le buscamos las facilidades con un 50%. Alex, right here at the Speed Auto Import dealership, and I'm gonna ask him a few questions about the, you know, the legitimacy of these cars. But he's saying they have all type of cars, for the high class to low class people, people with money, people on a budget, whatever it is you're looking for. Entonces, Alex, um, ¿dónde está ustedes importando los carros? ¿En qué? importaciones? Sí. Yo espérate. Porque la importación no la hace una persona, nosotros, que yo no, tú sabes, yeah. ahí okay. yo no puedo. Yeah. Okay. Eso, viene de Estados Unidos. Viene de Estados, viene de Estados, Estados Unidos. Unidos. Entonces, como, ya con los Carfax y eso. Yo con con todos los Carfax sí. y todos los carros. Entonces, no, sí. Ok, y si como yo, como en extraño, quiero comprar un carro, solo tengo que traer mi pasaporte. Y carta de trabajo de allá. Ajá. O si no lo tiene, el pasaporte y tiempo, y tiempo aquí, familiares o algo así. Ajá. Tiempo aquí. Sí, una persona que lo represente aquí en el país. Ok, so, ok, so somebody represent. Entonces, ustedes como hace financia, financiamiento, financiamiento sí, aquí también, aquí, sí. eh, como presiento, más, más bajito una de los bancos. Sí, eh, tenemos una tasa de un 2% para abajo. Ok, 2% sí. para abajo, de los bancos. Eh, pues tú sabes que va porque depende, el banco te ofrece una tasa bajita, Ajá. pero cuando va trayendo el tiempo te la mete grandísimo. Right. No sé, es una tasa fija. De dos puntos para abajo, Dep dependiendo de la cantidad de, de, del capital. Ok, sí. entiendo. Ok, entonces aquí yo veo que tú tienes muchos carros, pero si estoy buscando un carro en particular, ¿ustedes pueden conseguir? Bueno, de, eh, ¿cómo así? En particular, claro, le buscamos la facilidad de buscarlo. ¿Y ustedes abren qué días? ¿Como lunes a sábado? Lunes Trabajamos a de, de lunes a sábado hasta la una de la tarde. Ok, ¿y usted? Sábado. Y ustedes tienen un página de Instagram, como si sí, alguien... Sí, tenemos un Spear Autopo. Spear Autopo, sí. ok. Aquí es, eso es la única ubicación. Sí, la única que tengamos, no okay. tengamos más. Spear okay. Autopo. Ok, está bien, Alex. Muchas gracias. Ok. All right. What's up, y'all? Yeah, good evening, and I guess welcome back. So, that did not go as planned. Buying a car in the Dominican Republic car shopping, whatever you want to call it, definitely is a huge job on its own. And why I say that is, for one, as we see from online, all of these cars here are overpriced. Super marked up, way beyond their value. They don't care what year it is. I mean, just go on supercaros.com, 
type in any car you may have in the states or you like in the states that you think would be like a decent $18,000, $18,000 buy and add on about $20,000 to that price when you come down here. No exaggeration. Doesn't matter what city you're in, Puerto Plata, Santo Domingo, Santiago, wherever, you're gonna be paying a lot for a car. With that being said, I went to this dealership because I did try to buy a car there last year, uh, Cherokee. And let me tell you a little bit of my experience. First off, there is no dealer here that I have my personal Chapapa stamp on. Um, just because I haven't found that dealership that I feel like, you know, I get a value for my money. They respect my money and the car is you know decent not to say that they aren't here but with my experience with the car i have now i haven't had that so what i do recommend here is when you're gonna buy a car is to first ask the dealer or the owner of the car if you could bring it to a mechanic not bring the mechanic to the car pedal like <laughs> pedal but car to a mechanic shop pay them like a thousand pesos right there like you know for immediate check down to stop whatever they're doing and to check that car out because I'm telling you that could save you in the long run another thing is to check where these cars are getting imported from as you can see he kind of skipped over that question but he said you know the Carfax is there but stuff in that Carfax is important make sure the mileages check out make sure the car hasn't been you know salvaged or insurance deemed it as a total lost or stolen or any of that type of things but basically you got to know where the car is coming from in the states if it's coming from up north tri-state area then you gotta keep in mind all right the bottom of this car has gone through everything from you know rain to snow to salt on the roads for the snow so you got to keep that in mind what part of the states these cars are coming from that are imported here now there are some official dealerships here in the country mainly most of them are in the capital like you know infinity Nissan, Ford, there's a Maserati dealership down there, um, um, a Mercedes, it's like authorized Mercedes, tell us here. But I'm talking about these dealers you see sprinkled along the street here in various parts of the country. So, importation is key. Buying a car as a foreigner, um, definitely need your passport. Like he said, you do need your, your bank statements or, you know, a letter of employment for me personally how it happened for me was they didn't care about any of that um they just wanted to see that you could pay the money off or if you have the initial or if you're going to take a loan from the bank the loan would sponsor you here you definitely need your passport you definitely need some type of paperwork bank documents your credit can be um ran in the states but also you could establish your own what i like to call dominican credit here so you know credit that's been established in the country while you've been living here i don't like however how he skipped over you know some of the process um he made it sound a little bit too easy and trust me it's not going to be that easy unless you come cash in hand like you're ready to just pay thirty dollars thirty thousand dollars right up front for a car whatever car you want whatever car you want whatever the price is as long as you want to pay it up cash up front it's not going to be that easy if you look to spread the payments out so that I, I didn't like honestly and the prices of the cars like I said these cars are super jacked up super jacked up now is it worth buying a car down here find a proper place if you have the money for it I would say go for it after extensive research bring your own bringing your own mechanic having somebody check the car out and if you have the cash to buy it straight out buy it straight out negotiate 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 now other options you have the options of buying a car in the states if you have a car paid off already in the states ship it down here now how you can ship it down here this secret isn't shared by too many find a friend with a dealer a dealership there or a dealership here and ship that car for you i can't get into the details but if you guys hit me up privately on chop up our tv instagram i can point you in the right direction but that is one way you could do it. That is one way you could save some money. Example, 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited here, 2017 here, you at least be looking at $38,000. In the States, you probably find out that you could get that like mid-20s. Now, shipping 
and taxes. Once you get here, it tends to be the killer. Get past the shipping and get past the taxes, meaning if you find somebody like a dealer here or there that can help you with the shipping, save a little bit of money, then the value of the car they charge for you here probably won't even add up to what the asking price is here. So just think about that. The shipping, the taxes, the value of the car, how they do it once it gets to the port, you have to pay, I guess what they, like a percentage of the value of the car. Once it gets here, they take the car out and the car is yours. But there have been people that rather do that process themselves as opposed to just buying a car sale right here because there's people that like, Really bro, you want me to pay $30,000 for a 2013 car and it's just, it's outright ridiculous, it's not fair. There are a lot of cars here. And when I say a lot of cars, there are a lot of fancy cars here. I mean Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, McLarens, whatever you need. How they do it down here, how they buy it down here, I do not know. Especially with some of these roads, <laughs> I do not know. But. I just had to go in the trenches for y'all today um, just to try to get it just just to see if they'll like let something on about why the process is this way why the cars are this expensive but you think about moving down here or spending some time down here could buy a car and it'll be easier for you on your pockets as in terms of like you know paying for banks paper all that stuff you can use your credits in the states um, how I mentioned before, you can use your credit in the States or your credit here. If you want to know how to build Dominican credit here, I'll be doing a video on that later on down the line. I'm just um, in the process of, you know, smoothing all that out. But this has been my video on if you should buy a car in the Dominican Republic, what to do when you decide to buy a car and where to buy a car just do extensive research on the dealerships use google it shout out to flip use google it uh check out dealerships around you i would go like 4.5 and up or even go to like this, the strictly name brand dealerships if you want to go to these like dealerships sprinkled along the carretera and all this stuff that's fine wherever you go always ask if you could bring that car to a mechanic a mechanic that you trust a mechanic you know with a good reputation and just You'll be like, hey, mira, look over this car for me from top to bottom. That is fine. If you're satisfied with the results, then you will buy the car. You either, you know, there with you buy cash, take out a loan here, take out a loan in the States, whatever it is. But just make sure you you know what you're paying for. You know what you're paying for. You get the value of what you're paying for. And if you don't like the price, I get that. Your, your next best option would be to try to ship from the States. So if you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more.